So would you like to help with the Axio Shopify domain errors? I'm going to show you what are the common issues of how we can get started directly inside our store. So first of all, let's focus into verification of the domain settings. First, you want to ensure your domain settings are correctly configured. So I'm going to log into my Shopify store. And here, what you want to do is to make sure that here into your Axio section that says settings, I focus directly into domains. So check if your custom domain is listed as your primary domain. If not, what you can do is to click into your store uh, URL that currently using and change the domain type. Here, what I want to do is to enable the element that says primary domain. So once I enable this, I hit now and to change the domain type and then you're actually good to go. So also verify that your DNS settings are correct by clicking on manage next to the domain. Now, I'm going to check my DNS records. For a custom domain to properly link to your Shopify store, certain DNS records need to be set up correctly. So typically, this involves pointing your A record to your Shopify IP address, which is this actual element that appears in here, the 23227365. Usually, it's always the same required value. And your CNAME record should be shops.myshopify.com. Usually, it's exactly the same actual information. So, you wanted to make sure that you have exactly this element directly inside your custom managing domain. So, I'm going to go into my domain type. I choose my domain and I go for the actual element of my domain. So, I'm going to hit now into managed. And as you can see, we have now the advanced DNS. Directly here into the band's DNS, I'm going to go into add new record or to make sure that I have exactly the same value here. So if you have exactly the same value, this is the part which you wanted to make sure that you don't have more than one record. If I have two CNAME records, I wanted to make sure that I have deleted the previous one and I only have the one that says shopsmyshopify.com and exactly the same thing with the A record. Once I have successfully done that and I make sure that everything is now successfully done, make sure that the verification of the connection is actually working. Now here, this is the part where you want to resolve the SSL errors. If you're seeing a double SSL uh, error such as the unavailable, it might be due to your recent changes in your domain setting. Shopify automatically generates the certificate for your domain. But this might be, let's say, since this is automatically, this might be taking up to 48 hours to be processed in. So go back to your domain settings in Shopify and click into the SSL certificates, then click into retry. And if this doesn't work, you can contact the Shopify support for further assistance. But I can totally suggest you guys to wait up to 48 hours in order to continue. Now, what I can totally suggest to is to fix the redirect to Everest. So redirection errors occur if your domain or subdomain is not properly redirected to your Shopify store. So you wanted to ensure that your that you don't have any conflicting directed in place on your domain register dashboard. So always check if you have the setup domain forwarding, which might be redirecting your domain away from Shopify. Usually we have this element that says redirect to and the actual primary Shopify domain that you have just purchased. In this case, my online store. So my domain type should be the redirecting domain, the current that I'm actually using. It will be really important to actually have the one that was created here and of course redirect it to the one that I wanted to appear. And lastly, if none of this actual element actually works, once verified it and actually wait for the eight hours, what we can do is to go into the upper side and look out for the help center. So this is the part which you wanted to try to contact Shopify support or your domain register supporting team. They can provide more direct assistance which help diagnose deeper issues with your domain configurations. Usually what you do here is to look out here for managing of my domains. And usually uh, Shopify has their own artificial intelligence. So what you can do is to look out for a chat with a support advisor. A support advisor is going to be helping us to follow the prompts and of course get started here inside the actual Shopify. And they're going to be helping us in a very easy, easy way, guys. So if you tried all of these steps and you have tried here into the support advisor, I believe that this is the best solution we have currently there. You can even try with the actual supporter of the actual place which you buy your actual domain so they can be helping you as well when it comes to getting started inside your actual storing section guys so um 
domains issue can be frustrating guys but these steps can be helping you to get started of course in a very easy way so be patient guys resolve most problems on your own remember patient is key guys especially when waiting for a dns uh changes for the propagate with all of that being said if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more shopify tips thank you so much for watching hopefully with all of that being said into a brand new section of text see you next time